What's up guys, this is El and in today's episode I'm going to be answering some of the most frequently asked questions from my video that went viral. If you're not familiar with that video, if you don't know what I'm talking about, link in the description if you want to watch a full version. But to give you a quick summary, that video was about me complaining about having no jobs. Now a little summary. I am a handyman. And I started my business without any experience. Yes, I was just like you. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I saw the opportunity and I went for it. No experience at all. And that's where my name comes from because that's exactly where most of the uh, most of the stuff that I know now. But in that video, I was talking about the economy. I was talking about going from 150% to about 5%. I was getting calls nonstop every single day to the point where I wasn't even able to answer most of them because I was so busy, guys, to now barely getting any calls and the ones that I'm getting, especially the new customers, they're looking for a deal. So, now that you understand a little bit about this video, let's go ahead and talk about some of the most frequently asked questions. Let's start with the first one, and that is, where am I located? All right, guys, I'm located in the state of Arizona, specifically about 30 minutes away from Phoenix. One of the fastest growing cities in the United States. Okay, next. And this is a comment. Some, a lot of people have been recommending me to specialize. I should be a plumber. I should be uh, an electrician. I should do HVAC instead of just being a mere handyman. Because they make more money. Okay, check this out, guys. The plumbers in my area that are actually making money are working in commercial work. Or they're doing bigger projects. $10,000, $20,000 projects. Working for insurance companies, getting paid by insurance companies. Those are the plumbers that are making money, more money than I do. A regular plumber? No. I make more money than a regular plumber in my area. And you know why? Because I'm a handyman. I can do everything. Yes, I can change a toilet. I can change your faucet. But at the same time, I can do drywall. Guess what? I can do roofing. I can change your kitchen cabinets. I can put a brand new counter on your kitchen, on those kitchen cabinets as well. I can paint. I can tile. Not the best tiler ever, but guess what? I get it done. Good enough to get paid. Yes, I can install a ceiling fan. I can do a lot of things that you think are hard to do. And I taught myself everything that I know. So, do I, should I specialize in something else? I like the smaller jobs, guys. I like to keep it simple. Every single day is different for me. One day I can change a toilet. The next day I can paint. The next day I can do some drywall. When it rains, I do roofing. I like my days being different every single day. I don't like the same thing every single day. I get bored very easily. So even though the economy is slow right now, I'm not going to specialize. Next comment. All right, so this one here, a lot of people are saying that they don't believe that I have commercial insurance for my vehicle. I need to show proof, so you believe me. Go deliver some pizzas and get into an accident and see if your car insurance will cover it. No, they're not gonna cover it. That is what I meant by commercial insurance in my previous video. You need to have a commercial liability because you're using your vehicle for work. So if you're gonna be in the ser service industry, you need to get a different type of insurance. That's what I meant by commercial insurance. Because some people saw my truck and they're like, that is not a commercial vehicle. That is a truck. What, what, what the heck do you think a commercial vehicle is? So this is another comment. And this one says, don't disrespect that woman for getting more estimates. How rude. She has every right and is smart to get estimates. There are so many fraud, unlicensed, uninsured, fraud, low quality, side job people out there. She should get more opinions. She doesn't know you. Just FYI, there are a bunch of people doing handiwork for $90 minimum visits. All right, guys. People are very sensitive in today's world. So you gotta watch what you say, especially online. Um, that was a female customer. She happened to be female. She identified as female. So I believe um, I called out her pr pronoun correctly. Is that my fault? No. 
It had nothing to do with being a female, a male, and it. So, this lady, she wanted a bunch of work. A lot of work, guys. Like, little things, but it was a lot of work. Probably a few hours worth. And um, I quoted her $125. One, two, five. Because that is my minimum charge. And this lady declined my estimate because she wanted more. She was going to get other estimates right and uh, in that video I guess I laughed at it because to me that was an extremely good deal it was already discounted and uh, this lady decided that it was still too high for her and she wanted cheaper I did not make fun of that lady it was nothing personal I was just telling a story so you you would understand what I'm dealing with right now so stop being sensitive all right, let's check the next one. This is a comment. As a real estate, inv as a real estate investor, I've waited for this day. Handymen have been ripping people off for years. Most are overpaid and do shoddy jobs. You guys need a pay cut and step back into reality. Okay, guys, check this out. I have never, I have not always been a handyman. So, but I saw this. I agree with this guy. Handyman, contractors, plumbers, electricians, you want to call, whatever you want to call them, they charge a lot of money. And uh, it may seem like it's a lot of money for the uh, schooling that they have to do, right? And that is the main reason why I became a handyman. For one, I was calling people to come over to my house to do some repairs. Most people will not show up. Then the ones that were supposed to show up, they will call me that morning and they magically got the work illness. They magically got sick on that day and I just got sick and tired of dealing with that. So I started teaching myself how to do a lot of the things. And I renovated my kitchen myself just by watching videos online. Super easy to do, even I could do it. But then I saw the opportunity. I'm like, wow, I had such a hard time finding somebody to work at my house and they were charging so much money. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Why not? You only live once. So I did it. And I posted my ad on Craigslist at 11 at night. And by six in the morning, my phone started ringing. Nonstop, and it rang for years, until now. So yes, I agree, they charge a lot of money, but it, you know what? If you don't like it, why don't you just do it yourself? Become a handyman, then you can charge money and get rich. That's what I did. I'm not rich, by the way. All right, let's read the next one. Same with me. I slow down a lot, and uh, and it started last month for me. But I knew it was coming December. But I knew it was coming. December gonna be worse. You sound like me. Only my pre-existing rich people are my only customers. I refuse to lower my prices but I may have to as well. I'm gonna make a video like this before dealing, before detailing and pressure washing. You know what guys, I got hundreds of comments like this. Hundreds. It's unbelievable. I did not realize how bad it was out there. Check this out. When my phone stopped ringing as much as it did, I actually thought it was me. Not the economy, not my customers. I thought it was me. I used a voice over IP uh, phone number and I thought my provider was not working or my phone was not working and the calls were not coming through. I was so serious about it that I even purchased a new phone right before I posted that video. But then, after it went viral and having thousands of comments, people saying the same thing, I realized that it wasn't me, it's the economy. It's, uh, it's just, it's everything around me. All right, guys, let's read the next one. You are greedy. Okay, guys. You know what? I've been doing some reflection. And I realized that, yes, I have been greedy. I realized that $125 may seem like a lot of money for, it is a lot of money for a lot of people out there. And I've gotten complacent. And uh, I got a lot of comments that I am spoiled as well. 
And uh, after watching my video and reading you guys' comments, it has literal, literally enlightened me. I, um, I understand what my problem is. And yes, I was being greedy. I'm going to fix it. Let me explain. So right now, most of my customers are people who have money. Most of my customers that have money right now have secure jobs. They work for the government or they work in a hospital, the healthcare, um, and uh, the inflation is not affecting them as much. And I realized that in my last video, I was talking about concentrating on the richer neighborhoods. Target the rich, the people who have money. But you know what, guys? Um, I'm not rich, but I'm not poor either. But I, I know the feeling of not having money. And uh, after being humbled by this economy and the lack of jobs and calls, I can understand people who are not able to afford repairs because that is the main reason that drove me into this business. One, fixing my own things because everything was so expensive and making the money. But I realized that I'm playing into the system's agenda and that is just catering to the rich people and forgetting the poor, the middle class. As you guys know, somebody's agenda out there is just to get rid of the middle class and make people suffer. And I was playing into that game. And after reflecting, I'm going to change my lifestyle. Yes. Am I going to lower my prices? Yes, I'm going to lower my prices, even though a lot of people in the comment section said not to do it. I will lower my prices, but not for everybody. I'm going to lower my prices to those in need. When talking to people, I can tell who needs it and who doesn't need it. And I think I don't want to get religious with you guys because I, I'll be honest with you, I lost my religion when I was deploying Iraq in 2009, 2010. But recently, I've been feeling a little different. I didn't look for it. He actually found me. And this happened way before the video. But a day after I posted the video and reading the comments, like, you know, people calling me greedy, spoiled, and seeing how people are suffering out there and how $100 can change somebody's life, or day at least, I realized that, yeah, they are right. And a day after I posted the video, I got a text message from this guy. And uh, he needed he needs some fascia repair around his um, property, so he sent me a few pictures, right? And then I talked to him over the phone, and he tells me that you know he doesn't have that much money, he just wants it to look nice, and he wants it to last just for a year or two years because it's ter terrible right now. But he he doesn't he cannot afford it. And then I tell him, okay, buddy, just send me a few pictures, and then I can give you an estimate over the phone. So he sends me the pictures, guys. And let me show you the pictures. The first thing that I noticed, the first picture that I opened was this picture. And you see what I see? You see the cross? And uh, me struggling right now, posting this video, going viral, this video getting tons of comments, just did it for me. This is a sign. I need to change my ways and I need to make a difference. Not in my wallet, not for my own personal gain, but the people in my community. So I felt so bad for him because, and I asked him, who are you? Are you a contractor or are you somebody that works there? And he tells me I, I am the pastor. Guys, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to explain it. But now, from now on, I will try to make a change in people's lives in whatever way I can. So I'm gonna help this guy and um, I'll make a video about it and I'll post it in my channel and but you know it's, it's I don't know how to explain it. I'm sure a lot of you has, have, have felt that and uh, it's unexplainable but I'm gonna change my ways and I appreciate you guys for calling me greedy, spoiled and uh, I had it coming and uh, I deserve everything that I got for ripping people off and uh, all the good stuff. But I appreciate it. Thank you for opening up my eyes. 
And the last one, guys. Check this out. I like this one. This one says, you know it's pretty bad when the scabs brought in to take our jobs start complaining. Well, I assume he is calling me the... I assume he... I am the scab that was brought in by Bidenomics to take over the economy, right? Well, check this out, guys. I grew up in this country. I love this country, just like you do. I joined the military. I served in the military many years. I was a combat medic. So, what do you do? Calling me a scab. I became a handyman. I learned everything that I know. I earned everything that I have. But you know what? Instead of uh, getting mad at you, judging you, I'm gonna do the opposite because I want to change my way of living. I forgive you because you don't know what you're talking about. And I wish you well. But you know what, guys? I'll be honest with you. Um, this is one of the reasons why I started my YouTube channel. Because I did not let fear rule my life. Having this YouTube channel, I also had comments saying that I shouldn't be making YouTube channels. I should be out there working. But you know what? I saw the opportunity in this handyman business. And I went for it with no experience. And here I am talking to you. You can watch my videos for my portfolio. But I did not let fear control my life. If I had let fear control my life, I would have never started this YouTube channel. I would have never been here talking to you. So, if there is something you want to do out there, just go ahead and do it. You only live once. And you don't want to be... You don't want to get old and have regrets. Because by then, it's going to be too late, guys. So, the reason I do the YouTube videos... For one, I saw the opportunity as well. Just like I saw the opportunity in the handyman business. My back hurts every single day, guys. My shoulder hurts every single day. My knees hurt every single day. They did before I even became a handyman. My hurt hurts every single day too. But those injuries that I got came from deployment, being blown up. But you know what? I know I, only, I will only live once, and I know it's only going, going to get worse as I get older. I'm not gonna be able to do this manual labor forever, and my lifespan is not gonna be as long as other people out there that do not have prior ex, uh, existing injuries. So. I saw YouTube as an opportunity. I can make videos. I can inspire people to do things that they are afraid to do. To show them that if this schmuck right here can freaking tile a floor, can do roofing, can do all these things just by watching YouTube, they can do it themselves. So that is the main reason why they do YouTube. And hopefully uh, my goal for this channel, and I've said it before, even before my video went viral, is hopefully, I won't have to worry about finances in the future and I can do this work for free. Just to help my community, help the people around me and make a difference. Because money, it's not going to make a difference because you cannot take it when you die. I believe in karma and I believe you can take it. I, I believe you can take your karma when you die. But anyways guys, as always, if you enjoyed my videos, don't forget to like it. If you have any questions, comment below. I understand I did not answer all your questions. So if you want me to make another video, I will. And uh, just let me know. And I will see you next time.